A Territorial Cup victory has tremendous healing powers, especially since it's usually the final game of Arizona State season. That's not the case this year, and the Sun Devils are trying to avoid a letdown against Cal in their last regular season game. Whether you're winning, you're losing, or whatever, I mean, it's, it's kind of what you do every day. It's a body of work. It ain't, I mean, it's not as a, uh, reactive as, ever, as most people think. Once the next day hit, it was, it was the focus was, you know, try, try and get the seventh win and fin finish off the season the way, you know, we hoped for. ASU had its second 50-point game of the season on Saturday and completed three passing plays of over 40 yards. Mike Bercovici and his playmakers looked more in sync than they had all season. It was fun to run the offense. I think that obviously, you know, Devin did some some great things getting open. Jalen Harvey made an incredible play. Our protection was extremely sound all night. Um, but you know, it's now it's a threat and something that you know we've know we've we've had all year. But it's just it's only a matter of time it showed up. Arizona State's next opponent, Cal, also has an offense with a lot of potential. They've lost four of their last five games, but the results are deceiving. You look at the fam and you go, wow. I mean, they got, they, they're got they very, very capable, very, very dangerous, very efficient. Uh, the key for them has been the same thing for us. The only thing that stopped them is turning the football over. With two turnover-prone, six-and-five football teams set to square off on Saturday, the game could simply turn out to be a battle of wills. This, this game's about who wants it. That's what this game's about. From Tempe, I'm Brett Deckard for Cronkite Sports.